sanding my axis foils. I'm going to be sanding my PNG 1310 and my uh, flat 460. What I'm noticing is, uh, I know the 1310 is a little bit more specific with pumping compared to my 1150, but this last session, I noticed it was, it was kind of twitchy and off when it felt like my pump was, was good. My pump is getting better, but it feels like when it's just not right, it kind of stalls out. But then I was pulling out of the water, I noticed that it should all be flat or all be kind of beady one way or the other my theory is if it's around if you're going at a speed of 10 to 7 miles an hour or under it's better to have it glossy but from about 10 miles an hour plus to maybe 60 miles an hour it's better to have a flat finish because or a, a, a coated finish because the water rolling over it runs on the actual water like ball bearings but if, it's, if it sheets off, then it's actually running on the surface. And I've done a different test. I have a video, I'll probably put a link, where I put bank of grease here and then here and different angles of the foil, and it was just unusable. So it's definitely important to have it sheened. And as you can see, it should all be this sheen right here. And right here where a little bit, you can see how, here my hand touched. There you go. Just one moment. Like right there, it comes off too quickly. It should, there you go. It all just sheets off. And also the 460, it doesn't have a clean sheen. It should be stagnant, kind of coated all time. And I hope it's, it, this will make it much more predictable for foot pump foiling and faster. So I just have soapy water. I'm just gonna spray it with this. I have 1500 grit. I have a little foam paddle. Try it just normal with this. And my goal is this will be able to get the sheen normal. And that white stuff right there is from, I believe, Teflon uh, coating, and it's really hard to remove. But I believe the sanding, I'm really not sure for this if you should go like this or like this. So maybe, you know, I'll try to go like this with the 1500 grit. And this feels like it has some pretty good grit. So for this type of thing where you're just trying to smooth it out, for boards, you can go for like 400 or 600. But for foils, I think I like the, the finer grade. There's theories that depending on what water temperature or if it's salt water, fresh water, different kind of different types of coatings work well for each. So I'm not sure the facts on that. If you know, put it in the comments below as far as what sanding works better for what water temperature or uh, what uh, what salt water content. But let's see if this this very brief makes any difference. That's awesome, and that brief of an that was enough to wow. Okay, I'll I'll do more of a coating. It's 1500 grit, so I'm not going to take much more material off by doing this more. But that was a huge success right there, and I don't see is it a little bit of white right there? You kind of see right there, but yeah, awesome. So I'll do the rest. Yep very little time to greatly improve the coating. Bottom. So quickly it, it beads off. It means it's glossy or it's uh, hydrophobic where this coating is not. Yeah. <laughs> so fast to improve the coating. Oh, and this is also just diluted dishwashing soap, so it helps to release any grease, but also the sanding marks, even though it's 1500 grit, having soapy water helps to release the bind rather than just water. So definitely soapy water is the way to go when you're doing wet sanding. So you can see right there, little bubbles go over that. Just sanded it. Yep, much better. Nice. Well, that worked out really fast. It didn't It didn't take much time, it's super easy, just some soapy water, I'd recommend 1500 grit. That worked out really well. I would also recommend probably don't handle your wings too much, especially if you have greasy hands. And I would say try using soapy water with just a wash mitt before you do this, especially if you've already done it with 1500 grit. If soapy water doesn't do it, then do soapy water with 1500 grit. And I will do a follow-up video after I, after I um, see if this makes a difference. Is it faster? Is it easier to pump? But also, please, in the comments, let me know if you like a follow-up video. Is this content that's interesting to you uh, to see if it's worth it or not to do extra care or if it's just an annoyance and it's not a big deal. But I really think this will be a bonus. And yeah, but uh, like, subscribe, and share, and talk to you soon.